There's Jesus pointing his finger, giving out his message to the whole of San Sebastian. We're standing in a graveyard of Englishmen who fought against the uh, the monarchy of Spain uh, in solidarity with the Basque people yeah, a few hundred years ago. These are English graves in the middle of a Spanish town. San Sebastian is a beautiful, beautiful city. You should come. The Atlantic coast on both sides because I guess we're shaped like a horseshoe or something. And it comes with a Matt Noble. For free. For free. This is Ralph. He's Hello, from New workers. York. <laughs> he is a very interesting man. He works for Instagram. Yeah, don't use it. He's told us the truth. Yeah. We don't. 11 inside job. <laughs> no! We are going to get some pinchos, which is the local dish of this area. They only really do it in a It's like tapas, but it's their own style. I'm not... Our two friends, Martin and Ralph, have combined forces. We've got an actual army going on. Who else can we collect before we leave this place in a few hours' time? A few hours' time. <laughs> Set on the table like a gentleman. Look at that meat! Look at that food! Look at that tiny island. Go back, get my sunnies, style my hair, shave, take a shit, shave. Take another uh, shit. And go on the hat. Yeah. Well, the first was shaving my face, but after I shave my face, then it's kind of oh, dull. No, I could no, go no. with the pubes. Yeah. And then after I'm done with the pubes, it's gonna be game over, baby. <laughs> I bet. I bet she's gonna get some extra pinchos tonight. Hey, there he goes. We um we got an hour before our train, so we're we're gonna have to say goodbye to these guys. Nah, soon. nah, nah. You're gonna have a taste of my tarta de queso. If you know what I mean. <laughs> We are about a 15 20 minute walk away from our hostel and our bags, and then another 15 20 minute walk away from the station. And we've got just under 45 minutes to get our train, which will carry us on for the next three nights until we get to Barcelona. We made it to the station, we even have a few minutes to spare, so all is good. We are hoping that this is our platform. The man at the desk was quite confusing but um yeah we're here and um, on to the next adventure this is our home for the next 18 hours in the middle of nowhere <laughs> oh man this camera is never gonna do this justice we are in a, a valley between two mountains and it's beautiful it's just like we're in some kind of Wow, it doesn't look Spanish. Um, we're gonna be staying, I guess, in the train station. We've got 16 hours. We're gonna try and find a place to stay around here. There is life here, that we found a little village. And it has a church, so that means there must be, logically, some kind of pub or tavern or inn. Or... It's so small. Yeah. Like, and so quiet. Weird. Between the two mountains. Okay, people are, people are looking through their windows at us. church in the town. We're gonna knock and see if there's anywhere we can stay. Or just to talk to them. Big knocks. Thank you. Oh yeah for sure. So we asked the lady, the only lady we met and, and um, pretty soon she was like Esto no es Araya. Esto es Albany. We're in the wrong town. Um, well not in the wrong town but this happens quite a lot. People think that is Araya because of the train station, but actually it's Albany. Araya is one kilometer down this road, and uh, there might be a place to stay there. Doesn't matter if there's not, but it's a long road ahead. It's proper like, it feels like Breaking Bad. So, this is what we need. After many years of traveling, we found it. <laughs> yes. Look at the place we've been walking around. You can't see shit on this. But trust us, it's beautiful. We just woke up and it looks like Boris Johnson has resigned as Prime Minister about 10 minutes ago. 
Who's going to be the next Prime Minister? I bet this time it's a good person with ethics and morals. I love democracy. Where you actually wanna meet with me 